Okay, let's let's hear it then, so you can judge for yourself what you think about it. Uh, first is a clean sound, and well, as usual, I go through all the pickup combinations from the bridge pickup to the neck pickup. And this is a five-way switch, so there are some nice in-between sounds as well. Okay, here's the clean sound. bit of overdrive then. Again, lead sound.
I'm stopping playing there. Okay, yeah. Gets an eight. It's not the best pickups I've ever played, but they are really good. I like the guitar, it's very playable. And uh, yeah, all in all, an 8.4. Uh, I forgot to mention a thing about the bridge, since it's very movable. Uh, that is a... Well, I don't know if I can call it a problem, but when you're tuning the guitar, that is a... That affects it, because um, it moves so easily. So if you... If one of the strings, you, you tighten that one, then it affects all the others, so... Tuning this guitar takes quite a while, but when it's done, uh, it plays wonderful. So yeah, an 8.4 for the cheapest guitar in the store, and uh, I haven't really been nice this time. Sometimes I change the numbers based on the price, so I, if it would have been an expensive guitar, it gets a 5, but if it's a cheap one, it gets a 7. But I've been hard on this guitar actually, and it really, it really is that good. Um, so, one of my highest recommendations. It's made in Indonesia, and um, well, Indonesia seems to be the new Japan, I think, in guitar making, because they are making so much good stuff at the moment. So buy them before they get expensive, because they will. Uh, you can have, I don't think you can have this kind of quality and stay at those low prices. And try to get, if you get this one, try to get it with the two point bridge. Uh, I think it's a whole lot better than the six screw thing, so. Yeah. This has been the Swedish Guitar Nerd reviewing the Court G210 electric guitar. See you soon.